Hi guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to the joy of resin. Uh, well, I just had something kind of cool happen. I've uh, been in uh, touch with a custom mold making company to make some custom molds for a business I'm trying to start with resin. Uh, a very specific resin piece that me and my business partner created together. And apparently that company has been doing a lot more work with resin crafters lately. They've been mostly doing like candy creations. So now they kind of need somebody who can talk resin with their clients and with their design team to make sure things go the right way. I don't know, kind of hard to explain. But anyway, the, uh, the, the company head, I suppose, would like to consult with me about that. So that could be kind of cool. Uh, nice little secondary source of income or tertiary anyways. Uh, okay, so moving on to today's project, we have some black and blue and we have some dragon moon mold. And to scratch my itch without getting resin in my hair. Okay, so, well, I mean, this is a, uh, why is this so dirty? Okay, so let me spritz it real quick. And let me heat real quick. Okay, now we can pour. That is a lovely background color for this piece. Okay, a little bit more, get it nice and full. Looks good.
carefully move this over to the heat. Very, very, very carefully. Oh, that is full. Made it. Only a little bit of seepage past the uh, lip of the mold. Okay. That is a lot more resin than I thought. Okay. So instead of the medium skull, we're gonna go with the big one. I really need to like, measure how much some of these molds are so I can actually pour correctly. Saw somebody post today or yesterday or at some point in the recent past um, a piece that they had made a skull that was poured on an angle. Fucking bubbles. Pour it on an angle so that it only filled up half the vertical side of the mold. So I'm going to try and see if I can do something similar here. I need a deeper angle. Why? There we go. That'll do. Okay. It might be the best I'm going to get without actually dropping this thing and losing all my resin. However, nope. Get back here, you. Yep, me just showing off my resin expertise here. This would have worked perfectly if I was using the smaller mold, but... Okay, so I guess... Well, now what do I do? Go with it, I guess. Okay. 
All right, so. Stay. Okay. All right, that is that. And that piece is going to go under the heat tent. To better cure the skull. Hopefully it won't fall over while I'm at work. Sorry guys, I really should have turned off the camera before I started cleaning. But uh, now you just have to watch me clean. So, a little bit of that alcohol spray. Give it a couple wipes. Get as much of that residue out of there as you can. Leave it to air dry. And repeat with your tools. This one, however, lost cause. <clears throat> which is why it just holds my active tools. Okay, now I can let you go. Bye, guys.